Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, or welcome to my channel if you have not come here before. Today's video is going to be a story time, as you can see by the title. Um, so before we get into the uh, story, please go ahead and like and subscribe. It don't cost one penny to subscribe. It's free. So please hit that subscribe button for me at the bottom. I really appreciate it. Thank you in advance. Okay, so this happened, I'm not sure. I think it was 2008 or 2009, maybe 2010, something like that. Anyway, I was going to this college or university and I had to register for school. I had to go to registration and register, you know, for my classes. And so if anybody... If anybody knows, if you are familiar with college life, then you know how you have to stand in line and register and things of that nature. But if you don't, uh, if you're not familiar with university, uh, we got to stand in one line to register, get your classes, stand in another line to make sure your financial aid straight, stand in another line to let the advisor tell you which classes. And it's just, it's just a hassle. Anyway. This was registration day, and um, this lady that I know, we'll call her Audrey for the story. So Audrey, Audrey worked somewhere, I don't know. But anyway, Audrey was going to the same school I was going to. Audrey, now let me say this in the beginning, Audrey is not my friend, was never my friend. I knew Audrey through a mutual friend, someone that I was very close with at the time. So, um, I just knew her and she knew me, you know, but we wasn't friends. So anyway, um, she asked me, she said, what are you doing today? I said, well, when I get off, I say, I'm shooting over there. Uh, I had to go like maybe about 20, 25 minutes to register for where I had to go. And, uh, like in the next city over, it's not far, but, I had to go in the next, I had to go in the next city, you know, to register. And I say, I'm just going to register. She said, well, can you do me a favor then? She said, because I'm working and I get off and I have to go straight over there. What time are they done registering? I said, they'll be done about maybe five or six. And this was around two or one that I got off, right? So she was like, can I uh, get you to do me a favor? I was like, well, I will if I can. What's going on? She said, well, they're going to be through registering at 5, but I get off around 3.30 and I got to make it over there and I'm going to have to stand in line. I said, yeah, you're going to stand in line like everybody else did, you know, to register. So I didn't know what she was hinting at because I'm thinking, well, maybe she's talking about hold her place in line or get her some type of form or some kind of, you know, whatever. So I don't know what she was wanting. Anyway, she asked me, she said, guess what she asked me? She asked me if I can go buy Popeye's chicken and get her a 10-piece chicken because she said, that's what that's what I want to have for dinner tonight. And I'm like, I said, I, 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 I can probably swing through <laughs> when I'm done with my registration. I said, but that comes first. I said, it comes first because it's business. I need to get in there and get my classes before they all fill up or whatever. And so she was like, well, no, I need you to go get it first. That way, if you go get the chicken first and then meet me at the registration hall, if you meet me at the registration hall, then I'll just put it in the car. I'm going to have your money. I'm going to have your money. I'm like, I ain't tripping about the money. I mean, I know you'll have my money. If you ask me to, but I'm like, how you going to ask me to do it and put that before what I have to, what I have to do? You know, and so she was like, I could tell from the tone of her voice, she was getting mad. I was like, well, no, I can't do that. I said, I got business I need to tend to. I said, once I tend to my business, then I might, you know. And then, now, mind you now, this is retarded. She stayed about maybe 10 miles from the place where we registered. I stay further. I live further. And so when you coming down a certain street that the registration is on, you have to come down the street like this, and then you have to turn a corner and go all the way down the road. To, to even start going to like where she lives. So 
All she had to do was get her own chicken, well, which she must have got her own chicken because I didn't get it. Anyway, all she had to do was think and be like, okay, you know what? I said, now, doesn't it make sense to get the chicken on your way home so it'll still be hot? And when you get there, you're just 15, 10 minutes from home. Instead of somebody getting the chicken, putting it in your car, you're still taking a chance on it getting cold. I said, that don't make no sense. So anyway, um, she got mad. And do you know from that day to this one, March 4th, she haven't said a word to me. She hasn't said a word to me. And from that day to this one, guess what? I haven't lost one moment of sleep, haven't gotten insomnia or anything for it because of it. No. I said, oh, well, <laughs> your people are true. How you going to be mad at somebody? So they won't go get a family box of chicken for you. Stop doing what they have to do now to get a, 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 a family box of chicken for you. And then go do their business after they do something for you. Who are you? Royalty? Even if you were royalty, you don't have that right. You don't have that right to ask me to stop doing what I'm doing. Something for myself that was very extremely important to me. That was very important that I get my classes. Because, again, if you know any about universities and colleges, you know that some of the classes fill up quick. And if you get to a class and you and you want to get in that class sometimes if you're too late it'll say the class is closed and then you got to go through this that a lot of rigmarole just to get the professor or somebody to sign off on it so i'm like you know what no ma'am no ma'am she was my friend anyway honey so guess what you can't miss what you never had she was a friend of a friend now she was good with them but and i was good with them but she wasn't good with me like that. You feel me? And I'm thinking it was because I had done something for my friend. And uh, or we did things for each other all the time. And she felt like, okay, well, my friend called it on, you know, her to do some things. Maybe I can do the same thing. Not. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share that because it crossed my mind. It's crazy. That is really insane to me. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Again, go ahead and like and subscribe. And thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys be blessed.